By the way, one thing I should probably mention, you're now wondering why I missed uh, a couple of games. Well, uh, thanks to my lovely recording system deciding to have a day or two or three off. Uh, yeah, it didn't end up recording uh, these three games. So, yeah. Uh, it wasn't very good run of form, in all honesty, but still. And that didn't really, that kind of was part of the reason why I didn't really upload uh, for like two to three days. Part of it was just personal. I just needed to give myself a break. Because uh, I was pushing myself way too hard. But but at the same time, I still like want to do this. So we're back into this. Uh, I've had a little bit of a break at the same time. Yeah, I'm feeling all right. And uh, it's time to really get into this uh, Huddersfield match. So in all honesty, I'm going to make a bit of a team change just to be safe for the uh, European matches. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to keep DeVries off. Chris Stinson's going to go there and uh, I'm going to try him there and see if I can trust Kinsinson there. Then I mean, Amadou's going to replace Mbappe there. It's going to be Masanda, Barco, and himself. And uh, you know what? Gomes for Barco too. So it's going to be a change to lineup. And uh, Mbolo is going to be the only one that really stays uh, in the team. Actually, you know what? Roque Meza can go in the midfield. Because we really want to rest our players for the... Actually, no, no. Shalaba. Shalabe. Shalabe is going to play as Sanchez. But yeah. Honestly, like, in real life... Let's be real here. What a flop. Uh, Renato Sanchez has been. Such an awful purchase. Or actually, loan signing. But at the same time, you got to feel for Nato. Like, he literally has gone from playing Portugal, going to Bayern, and now is at Swansea and is having a hard time there. So, yeah, I watched the game. He just looks like he needs a new team desperately. I just hope for his future in all honesty, even not as a fan of him particularly, that he just get, uh, has his loan terminated and he just goes to a different team where he gets to play games because it's good for the game to have these elite players grow up. Alrighty, so, first match of the episode, and we are playing against Huddersfield in the Premier League. So, not been a great uh, last couple games, and yeah, it's a real need for us to uh, pick up the slack. Uh, Swansea, Chelsea, and Leicester City have been absolutely pathetic. Like, and I mean absolutely pathetic. Literally, we won one out of, like, three games, right? And they gained one point in t compared to us. We had an eight-point lead before. Now we only have a seven-point lead. That That's it. It's, it's it's actually embarrassing. Like, the title race has been so boring for half of the year because the teams just can't, like, do anything. They just flop every time. But, yeah, either way, uh, how do you see a lot of... Liv, Jorgensen, Schindler, and Love Ren 6. Fofana and Fulton. Then it's Tomas and Payne, Aseri, and Mounier up top. With Rob Green goal. For us, it's Zuma, Christensen, Gnayon. By the way, Christensen, holy crap. He missed so many chances. This guy had two MGS from... It's Christensen. Oh, man. That just sums up my half. Opportunity to take an extra shot. I either shoot too early or shoot too late. It's been dreadful. I need to wake the heck up. I think I need to bring on Mbappe. Like, I've just been hopeless without him. Literally, like, our team's just so dead. Okay, it's a good pass through here. Holy. Holy hell. Okay, it's Guerrero. Let's pull a Oh, it's deflected. Okay, I was about to say that. Pull us gets to die. Oh, shit! Sure oh! Oh, shit! It's in! Kurt! Chris Zuma scores it! How? Oh my god, this game has been craptastic. This literally just sums up my kind of goals today. Oh my god. What is Rob Green doing? That is what you call retarded goalkeeping. I mean, he, if he literally just kept moving the same way, he would have saved that. Oh god. It's, it's, it's so bad, it's funny. And now... Oh, oh, come on, no! That was almost such a beautiful goal. I literally just lobbed the keeper.
Back post. Oh, oh, what a pass! It's a stunning pass from Guerrero. It's two. We're just destroying the Huddersfield defense. Bring on our front three, and we come to life. Wasn't sure if I made a mistake, but oh my god, what a brilliant pass. That's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. What a goal. What a finish. It's absolutely beautiful. Alright, there we go. 2 nothing victory. I don't know how we got it. I was abjectly terrible. But then again, we are facing Huddersfield, so... Yeah, enough said. Either way, though, that was far from our full-strength lineup, so to have a win like that without our best team is uh, quite encouraging. Alrighty, so changes are going to have to be made, so Crescenson's going to have to come out. He's too tired. So what I'm going to do is play DeVries there. Azumo's really good on the left side, actually, in fairness to him. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have Mbappe as the right winger, Mbolo there, Pulisic as the left winger. And then what I'm going to do is uh, play Renato back in there for Shalaba. And then uh, that'll be the team for now. So not too many changes. Actually, Malang Star should be brought in. Malang Star should be brought back in. Because, I mean, if he has enough stamina there, he should be good. Regardless, so, uh, someone like, uh, I mean, Leo Dubois was the point of this guy. Literally, I just signed him because I thought I needed depth. And then I end up just playing a winger at the midfield position. Ah, well, though, uh, let's get into this. It's the Europa League quarterfinals. Let's go along and let's just grab a key victory and give ourselves our advantage in the next leg of the tie. So here it is now, Europa League semi-final, I mean quarterfinal. And would you know it, Adnan Yanazai is still playing for them. <laughs> Remember that guy? Remember that guy? He was like good, like sort of good when Man U finished seventh. Yeah, no, those those were good times for a Chelsea fan, man. Those were good times. It's still good times, but Man U are a little bit better, I have to say. But yeah, regardless, though, uh, Real Sociedad they have obviously had a very very solid team, and uh, yeah, they've done pretty decently for themselves. They've kept players like uh, Carlos Vea. Which is quite shocking to me. Either way, though, uh, yeah, Adnan Yanzi there, uh, William Jose, Vea, Ila Ramendi. Uh, they're playing a 4 3 3. Uh, Zagoev from Russia, and, uh, have to admit, it's not a bad team. Uh, Marcano and Staflidis. But other than that, that's actually a really good team. Like, you know, in the future, maybe if a bunch of players don't leave, I might actually consider playing with that team. Either way, though, uh, for us, obviously, we got Pulisic and Bolo Mbappe. Guerrero, Sanchez, Elena. I mean, I'm going to do uh, Zuma, DeVries, and Yang Yong. So, Chris Henson comes out. He needs to play. For the lad is too tired, so. Um, kind of like me. It's into pull a sick. It's into Renato. It's into pull a sick. It's a shot taken goal! It's Christian pull a sick! What a beautiful team goal! They have snapped into it indeed! What a strike! Christian pull a sick! It's a great meg of the keeper! And 19 minutes, and we take a lead on aggregate. It's really, really been an interesting season because it never feels like I'm terrifically better than any of the other teams. But it feels like I always just end up getting those clutch goals, so it's quite interesting. Either way, though, a little bit of an interesting one. Uh, you can't blame Rui from that range, though. Let's be real here. Because, oh, that's some terrible luck. It literally hits off his thigh and then his uh, area, so. Or Gawain, per se. So, yeah, no, I, f I feel terrible. That's really bad luck as a keeper, but no. Jeez, don't be stupid. Don't be... D no, I'm being stupid. Uh, I'll... Uh, I I mean this is kind of what I deserved. Uh, I I I'm kind of hoping I wake up after this because holy crap! I mean the, what I was getting away with was just I needed a wake up call. Now some bolo. Oh my God, Renato! You gotta put that away. It's pull a sick. It's pull. Oh my God! Uh, no. Come on! This ain't fair. Oh, this is this half is taking the mick. 
Like, ah, uh, okay. I'm giving him Bull a few more minutes, and then I'm just gonna take him off, and then switch him off with the whole... Just collateral damage. Oh my god, no, nah. You can't afford to be this stupid! But, I, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, no, 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 no! Oh my god, I've collapsed! I've just been a shiza show! Okay. It's a chance here. Why turn into the defender? Oh my god, I was absolutely shit. I was absolutely terrible. I mean, I mean, what was I playing at? I mean, to be honest with you, uh, I've clearly lost a step because this is embarrassing. Like, this is legitimately embarrassing. What an awful result for us. And, uh,. Going into it, we're gonna have to score. We got that away goal, so we're not in terrible shape, but not very good. Really, really not very good. Like uh, this, this is a little bit of worrying end of season form. So, alrighty then. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, yeah, I shall see you guys later. Peace.